all right, you got to stop wasting time on things that don't matter. This one simple app changes the way I run my business. So I've joined multiple coaching programs and networked with a lot of entrepreneurs making six, seven figures, and almost all of them have one thing in common. They all track their time. So to make this video, I actually track my time using this app. And the results are quite eye-opening and that's why I'm making this video. Hi, I'm Helmi, YouTube Funnels agency owner, and I'm trying to scale my business mastering this one skill, tracking time. Because if you don't track your time, how can you delegate your work and how can you know how much to pay other people? In the next few minutes, I'm revealing the easiest way to track your time without it being yet another chore you got to do because as a business owner, we're already up to our eyeballs with stuff we got to do. And I'm going to show you how to figure out where your time really goes so you can focus on stuff that actually moves the needle for your business. All right, so we're going to start with how can tracking time actually make your business more money? And to know that, we got to understand why do we all procrastinate? Deep down inside, we all know what we should be doing to make more money. But a lot of the times, the thing that we should be doing is very uncomfortable. And therefore, we decide to do something else that's comfortable, but it doesn't move the needle, but it makes you feel like you're doing something and that's why you're not scaling your business. So the number one reason why we need to track our time, because we only have 24 hours in a day and we need to know exactly where are these hours going so we can drop doing these random things and only focus on things that move the needle. For me, I'm a YouTube funnels agency. The thing that moves my needle is creating YouTube content for myself like this one right here, connecting with people on LinkedIn. An example of time wasters are, let's say I bought a course and all I do every day is watch videos on the course. Now that's a complete time waster because I'm not doing anything, I'm just consuming stuff. So I know it can get really overwhelming in a business. There's so many things to track. This guy says track this, this other guy says you gotta track this. But I boil it down to a science and there's only three things you gotta track. And if you wanna know what, you could watch my previous video right here. Okay, moving forward, the second reason why you should track your time is that we want to identify the most profitable projects and profitable clients. So you can focus more on the projects that make you the most money with the least amount of effort. For example, me as an agency, I have so many offers I'm throwing out, out there. And let's say I have offer one that I charge $2,000 and it only take me 10 hours to do, but then I have another offer that I charge $200, but it takes me like five hours to do. So once you have it in paper, like you can see how many hours and how much money you're making, you can connect the dots. I'm like, oh, maybe I shouldn't be doing this, I should be doing the first offer. Concentrate more on that. Okay, so that's why you need to track your time. So here's the easiest way to track your time. There's so many like apps, there's people tracking their time manually with a Google Sheet. There's people tracking on a notepad. It doesn't really matter. Like you just use whichever you're comfortable with. But in this video, I'm gonna show you how I did it. So I'm using this free tool, it's called Clockify to track everything. There's a paid version of the app but right now I'm just using the free version. It's perfectly fine, okay? So I'm gonna teach you how to use it in a minute, but our game plan here is you gotta register the free account. Then for the next 72 hours, you're going to track some key things in your business that you do. And with this, you're gonna see some shocking revelations of, whoa, I'm actually spending a lot of time doing this, or I'm not spending enough time doing this. So that's the whole point of this, okay? So what to track in your business? So I'm gonna show you here. So if you were a service business like me, I'm running a YouTube funnels agency. The only thing you gotta track are client fulfillment, lead gen activities, and some personal stuff. Fulfillment, there's a bunch of subcategories of stuff you gotta do. Maybe you gotta design thumbnail, maybe you gotta script, maybe you gotta manage editors. So write that down, what is that thing? You're gonna be tracking these things right here. Same thing with lead gen, there's creating YouTube videos, there's doing LinkedIn posts, having conversations online. And for personal, that relates back to your business is, oh, I bought a course, how many hours do I spend going over their stuff in the course? And then I learn new things from YouTube as well. Like I'm tracking how many hours do I do that? So what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be tracking these things right here. So once you register with Clockify, all you gotta do is go into projects and create new projects. All these stuff right here that I registered, these are corresponding to the subtask. This is how I do it. There's no right or wrong. You're gonna do this for the next 72 hours, all right? Everything that you do that belongs within this category, you track, okay? I just track the business stuff that I do. So you're gonna download the app for your phone, for your MacBook, and, and then whenever you do something, you just track it. Tell what it is that you do. After 72 hours, you will start to get a bunch of data. Now, it's usually you get really overwhelmed, right? So I'm gonna tell you how to analyze this data to just make quick business decision without you being analysis paralysis. That's the last thing you wanna do. So the whole point of us looking at the data is we wanna see our most time consuming projects and then we can see what to stop immediately, which are the needle movers. You as a CEO, 
you need to do certain things and delegate the rest, right? You don't know what to do, what to delegate because you can't see what's going on. So that's the whole point of this. You can see it and then your brain can connect the dots. All right, so here's an example of one of my daily activities for the past one or two weeks here. So as you can see here, it will tell you the total time, the top projects, and then the top client as well. Okay, so right off the bat, the top project is landing pages. I'm a YouTube funnels agency. I shouldn't be spending too much time doing landing pages. It's part of my offer is to do the YouTube channel plus the landing page, but the landing page shouldn't be my main thing. So that tells me right off the bat, I need to start delegating people for this part right here. So here are stuff that are organized by the most time. Landing page, again, I shouldn't be spending seven hours doing landing pages. So I need to outsource somebody to do this for me. And then learn new things for me, how I categorize this if I go to YouTube to research what's going on for my own YouTube channel and for my client's YouTube channel, I consider that learn new things. And also I bought like an online course, I mean, Lara Acosta's course, Link how to grow on LinkedIn. So there's a lot of modules in there. So this is the second biggest thing that I'm using for the past two weeks. So that's not good because when you learn new thing, that's good. But then again, you're not working. You're not putting content out there, right? So I need to reduce this immediately. Then the third thing is managing editors. So that gives me a glimpse. Hey, I should start finding somebody who can manage editors and then thumbnails as well. I'm spending three hours. That's a long time. So maybe I shouldn't be doing thumbnails. I could just outsource that followed by scripting. Okay. So scripting is something that I'm having a little hard time delegating because it's very hard and very personal, but that's something I'm working on at the moment. Okay. And that's it. This gives you like a visual data. So now your brain can connect dots. Oh, I'm spending too much time here. Or I'm not spending enough time doing the thing that really matters. Okay. There you have it. That's how I track my time in my business. So I can know what are the needle movers and start delegating. So now you know how to track your precious time as a solopreneur or business owner. The next logical step is to design the perfect daily schedule for you to execute your daily task. So it becomes a good habit. Okay. So if you want to know how to do that, watch the next video right here. My name is Helmi, YouTube Funnels. See you in the next video.